Captain's Log. Day 3873 aboard Deep Space Exploration Vessel DSEV-452. My crew has been gone for one year to the day, and my hope of rescue even longer. Life support systems fully operational, thanks to the Bozone, Ozone, Matter Zone, Ozonating, Bozonator. Who named that? It should keep this hulk of steel warm for the next 3,000 days or so, or until rescue. A rescue. Um, systems check. Uh, Bozonator? Bozonating. Air filter. Filtering. Hot tub? Hot tubbing. Margarita machine? Still out of margarita mix. Um, what else? Google Maps still searching for signals. And Fred, do you still work all right, bud? P-H-R-E-D. Poop hydration reduction and elimination droid. The service's most advanced life support device, capable of reducing and or eliminating all the life-sustaining moisture from the fecal matter aboard the Union Exploration ships. Without it, Crews would die of dehydration within months of deep space exploration. Hello, Major. Fred, how many times do I have to tell you? It's Captain, not Major. Captain Ursa Major, if you'd like to use my full name. Yes, Captain. I only thought, since you and I are the only sentient beings left on this vessel, we'd be more familiar by now. Fred, why in the world did the service make you the only sentient droid on this ship? I am Fred, a poop hydration reduction and elimination droid. The service's most advanced life support device capable of reducing and or eliminating all life-sustaining moisture from the fecal matter aboard Union Exploration Ships. Without me, crews would die of dehydration within months of space exploration. Seems very important to me. Yes, I know. Thank you, Fred. It's been one year, Fred, since the crew and the blast doors locked us in the command deck. I know, Captain. What brave crew they were. We could still look for them in the deep of space. No, Fred. We don't know what's out there. And we can't jeopardize the mission. But I can't help but wonder, what is down there? Making all that squelching. Deep within the dark corridors of the long-abandoned vessel, a chrome hole so lost in the depths of space, starlight barely graces the work tables and research areas long abandoned by the diligent hands of service member scientists. Yet, completely abandoned the hole is not. In the shadows of this dark, deserted vessel, something squelches. Squelchy's Log Day 365 aboard Deep Space Exploration Vessel DSA-452. The crew has been eaten for one year to the day, and my hopes of finding more crew to eat even longer. Life support systems, I guess, are working. Squelchy is mostly made of squelch and can live off space dust alone. So yeah, mostly just vibing. Squelchy could probably vibe for the next 3,000 days or so until Squelchy finds more crew members to eat. More crew members? Nah. Unless Squelchy can find my way through those blast doors, I've tried so many times to squelch my way in there, but I can't help but wonder, what is up there making all those margarita noises? Aboard the command deck, Captain Major stares through a porthole into deep, empty space. Her mission failed, her crew squelched, her only friend, a combination toilet and Brita pitcher. And yet, hope remains in her stout heart. She will find a way to complete her mission. Like human fluids extracted from fecal matter to be used once more, she will try again. Today's the day, Fred. I've reconfigured the margarita mixer and the hot tub jets to blast the sensors of the blast door override system. If my calculations are correct, the vibrations of the mixture and the moisture of the hot tub should convince the system that it's the Friday happy hour on the ship, and the relaxed party atmosphere should deactivate the security protocol. Do what you must, Captain. Fred, it worked! Oh man, I have to ad-lib all these. I was going to try to, I couldn't think of any more toilet jokes, I was like, maybe Dan and Tommy can Holy shit, Captain. (laughs) (laughs) 
Let's go, Fred. I'm glad the service gave you working legs. It seemed silly at first for a toilet to have legs, but now I get it. <laughs> yes, Captain. I'm the service's most advanced poopy particle genre. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't walk while I was shitting in you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's make our way to the research labs, to where the crew was working. Squelch! What was was that? that? Squelch! What What was was that? that? Squelch! What What was that? that? Squelch! What What was was that? that? Captain, perhaps we should return to the... the Squelch! It's squelching time! Captain, run. Quick, Fred, to the Bozone Ozone Matter Zone Ozonating Bozonator. We have to blow up the ship. Would not be the first time I've been blown up. Am I right, Captain? (laughs) Not now, Fred. (laughs) The Bozone Ozone Matter Zone Ozonation Bozonator. The service's most advanced bozone-based matter zone energy engine, capable of vast amounts of energy, capable of vast amounts of explosions, the likes of which not even Fred has seen during his long, long tenure aboard the D-7452. Okay, Fred, the self-destruct button, it's the only way. No, Captain, there is another way. Fred, no, you can't. You're my best friend. I know, Captain. Major, you can call me Major. I know. Major. It's squelching time! I'm getting too old for this ship. 